Hey guys, Christine here again. I know lighting's a little weird. Got I'm I'm in Scott's basement, as you can tell. There's nothing on the walls. Um, uh, it's his his little basement studio. Um, and I have a little desk lamp here, so it's kind of kind of strangely lit. I look like I'm being you know, held captive or something. Um, anyway. Um, this week was week five, and I think it's been my toughest week so far. Um, had a lot to do this week, had a quiz in skills lab, which I did not do so well on. Um, it was just another, I wasn't prepared, even though I thought that I, that I might have been, but I wasn't. And, uh, then, so that got me down. And then uh, Wednesday we had our cardiac check off, and that actually went well. Um, and a quiz, which I did really well on. Uh, I actually got 100% on that quiz. Um, so that made me feel really good. Uh, and then we did our cardiac check off, and she said that she was very impressed with all of our communication skills. Um, and that we had, you know, she could tell that we had spent a lot of time and put effort into um, knowing how to do you know, a cardiac assessment. Um, so that, that was good too. Uh, and then we had our second exam. This is really bumming me out right now. Um, second exam in theory. And I think unless, um, I'm sorry, I'm just noticed my eyes are, you see that? The, 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 I see like different colors in my eyes. Um, anyway, easily distracted. Um, anyway, uh, we had our second test in uh, theory, and I think unless I got another point added in somewhere, maybe one of my write-in answers um, was correct. I'm not sure. Um, I think I missed the uh, the safe the safe zone by one point. Uh, so I. Um, not feeling too good about that. I, mean, I know with my, my last test score, it, it evens out to, you know, I got, I got both passing, passing, uh, passing scores. Um, but it still, it sucks. And it, what sucks more is that I know there's two questions. One, I totally talked myself out of the right answer. And the other one, I just didn't, it was like the very last question and I should have got it right, but I just read it really quick and I was like, oh, it's this one. And it wasn't. So if I had gotten those, I would feel pretty good right now, but I don't. <laughs> and this week was the first week that I really felt self-doubt and like, what am I doing? Is it, can I even do this, you know? And, um, so I've just been like, it's just bummed out, like, can I really do this? And I know it's just that I, it's, it's just a lot of information all at once. And I just have to let it sink in and study and practice and all of that. But right now I'm feeling really bogged down. Um, but I think I just need to change up my study habits a little bit. And uh, put a little more effort into it. Um, and really focus. Because uh, I think I'm losing my focus a little bit. But that's on me. It's on me. What, what else can I say? It's on me. Um, but that's it. Uh, so yeah, five, week five was tough and it's kind of freaking me out right now because we only have two more weeks left and then it's finals and then the week after that is clinical start. And it's like, holy crap. And I do, I don't feel prepared to start clinicals right now. I don't. But, um, maybe in two weeks I will. They're three weeks. That's crazy. Like, oh my God, it's, it's going by in a flash. Um, and I'm, I'm really, I'm hearing more and more stories about, you know, bad surge one and most people fail, you know, a good percentage of people fail in bad surge one. Um, and you could fail bad surge one by turning your back on your meds or turning your back on your sterile field or breathing wrong or, so I'm just like, holy crap. I mean, I'm, I can see myself doing something like that, like working, trying to do a, a Foley catheter and accidentally doing like this or taking the hand that's, you know, not sterile anymore and touching something. I can totally see me doing that. Like I really can. Um, so I really had to try and prevent myself from doing that. 
Uh, I don't know how. I guess you, you just have to really concentrate on what you're doing. Um... So, I mean, like, the caring part and the communication part of nursing, I think I would have no problem with. Um, the procedures part, which is the most important part, really, um, I just need to focus on. I really do. So, um, that's it. Oh, I, I, I'm at home. I wanted to show you guys. They gave us, a, like, a catheter kit to kind of practice the, the sterile field. Um, obviously not sterile anymore, but I, I, <laughs> I joked with Scott that uh, they, they gave us a catheter kit to go home and practice, and I think he almost believed me. <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, but, uh, yeah, so that's, that's, a, that's just, I'm just, just trying to bring myself out of it. I think I've got, I'm going to try this, I've got a study schedule that I think will work for the weekends. Um, I think today, after this, well, I kind of want to watch Glee and Grey's Anatomy. Um, and then I'm going to study Skills Lab. I know I got, I know the stuff that I need to study for that, because we're going to have a quiz on Monday or Tuesday. Um, and then Saturdays I will study, uh, theory, fundamentals theory. And then Sunday I will study, uh, physical assessment and do my homework and stuff. Um, so we'll see how that works. I think that'll work a lot better, because I think if I give myself little goals, just little like, okay, I'll do this right now, uh, this is what I want to accomplish today, and then um, this is what I want to accomplish tomorrow, but let's just focus on today. So I think I will try that and see how that works. Um, next week, not as busy as this week, um, uh, what's it, two quizzes, maybe three quizzes, I'm not sure if there's another, I'll have to look on my schedule, there, uh, there might be another quiz, there might be a quiz in fundamentals maybe um but yeah so at least two quizzes and homework due next week so it's not as busy but uh you know just gotta refocus just gotta get my head in the game and really 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 get to work um that's it <laughs> I wish I could show you guys my drug book I got the Mosby uh, drug guide for nursing it's like orange this is a 2011 uh, virgin, I got a really good deal <laughs> through Borders, um, so I was, I was proud of that deal. Um, that's what I wanted to show you. Maybe next time. Oh, and I did. I've been meaning to do this. Uh, I finished the book Nurse by Peggy Anderson uh, a while ago. <laughs> I finished right before uh, before nursing school started, and it was really good. Like you get as invest invested in uh, her patients as she does. It's like I didn't want it to end. I just wanted it to keep going. Um, so I would recommend that one. I know we don't have a lot of extra time for extracurricular, extracurricular reading, um, but you really get invested in it and you want to, you want to just, you want to just to keep going and, uh, find out about her patients. Um, so that's it. Oh, oh one more thing. I keep, I, there's always stuff that I keep, oh, I want to talk about this and then I forget. Um, my hair, let me take it down, is really long right now. And I decided that before I uh, I started nursing school that I would um, let it grow out. It's really long for me. Usually I keep it short. My hair is curly. I know you can't tell because I'm always pulling it back. Um, but my goal is to let it grow and just keep growing until I graduate and then cut it all off and donate. See, look how long it is. Donate it to like Alexa Love or here in Michigan we have uh, Wigs for Kids organization um so that's my goal uh and i won't have a lot of hair by then because i have thick hair it's like fine but it's thick so i have a lot of it i have a lot of hair um so that's my goal um so that's it uh so i'm gonna go catch up on a couple of tv shows that premiered this week and then i'm gonna get to studying so study hard keep your head up and i will talk to you guys next week all right bye